So you imagine, right, dismissing a golf club based on looks alone. So you're too blinded by the fact that how it looks, you're not prepared to give it a chance. Well, effectively, that's what I've done with a golf club that you've just seen those five balls hit with. Three weeks ago, I was sent a club. I took one glance at it and I just could not get my head around it because there was one overriding factor that I seen it addressed that I thought, that's not for me, that's not gonna work for me, and I couldn't have been more wrong. That club was from Callaway, it was a hybrid, it was the B21 hybrid, and the issue that I have, the problem I had, was that little thing called offset. And offset is something I struggle with, and lots of people struggle with, believe me, I see it in the comments all the time, as to how they can't accept the amount of offset they see on a club. But that offset is designed to help us, to help average golfers. It's designed to do two major things. And I'm going to quote Tom Wishon, and I'll give you what he says are the two main benefits of offset. He says, the two benefits of an offset design, it can help a golfer square the club face for impact, improving the odds of a straight or at least not a slice shot. And it can help a golfer get the ball up in the air. And I'll give you this one more line that he quotes. The more offset in the club head, the more time the golfer has on the downswing to rotate the face of the club head back around in order to arrive at impact closer to being square to the target line. Now that all makes sense to me. Complete logic, I get all that, but when I see a club like this, and I don't know whether I'm gonna pick this up in terms of just how much offset that you can see there, but trust me, this club has so much offset, and it will be millimeters, but when you set this up ball up at address, it just seems to be pointing left. And there's a major issue with that, but I've hit a few balls with it since, and I know this thing performs. What I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to take you over to 4Golf. We're going to hit some golf balls. I am going to collect some data. And I'm going to see whether I can get my head around this setback club face, this amount of offset that I'm seeing at address, seeing whether or not I can overcome that. And if I can see numbers that persuade me that offset is a real positive thing, and I'm just being an idiot to ignore it. <laughs> How much help and assistance this offset might provide you can you get over it in terms of visually addressed and I can't help that when I've got this club behind the ball one of the major things I've got to deal with mentally is the fact that I just seem to be aiming right down the left hand side right down the left hand side down the left hand side I should say and that's a difficult thing for me as bullet straight down the middle it launches incredibly high there is absolutely nothing I could choose to do about that shot. It's absolutely perfect. It's as good as I've got. It's a four hybrid that I'm hitting. The launch on it is exactly what I'd want coming into a par three or into a, uh, into a par five. Or again, if you're looking for that bit of confidence off the tee when you've lost it with your driver, then for me, this is an ideal club to go to. And one of the things they've done is build sort of mass it's one of the biggest hybrids i've seen so it sort of sits between very much almost fairway like in its size it's not far off that amount of mass behind the ball which again has allowed that cg placement away back but also forgetting what the cg placement does in terms of helping the launch you've also got that visual aspect of confidence that it breeds so where i find this club really interesting is that I've already talked about how much help offset can give to a lot of golfers, but it's how much confidence it can give you when perhaps, like I said, this is, I think 40 inch is the length of shaft on this. So compare that to your driver, there's quite a big difference in terms of control and therefore confidence. And you're not giving up acres in terms of distance. This thing is power packed, there's no doubt about it. I've got the numbers already gathered. I've hit plenty of balls already with it. And believe me, this thing goes off the face. I mean, you'll see these coming up on a target now. These are bang on line. Right down the middle again. Very similar, I would think, in terms of distance. I mean, we've got a good, a good gathering, a good cluster of numbers there. Again, that sort of 190 carry. It's been between 190, 195 carry. Very, very consistent indeed. 
and this is the four so for me again that's uh, perhaps looking at that three that slightly stronger lofted again as an alternative off the tee is a real interesting option well that's three out of three in terms of when the camera's been on another one very little difference in it whatsoever interesting thing all the time is that ball flight just ha how high it launches but again still carrying that distance it's a little bit spinny for me uh, in terms of what it's doing but for a lot of golfers this is going to be a big help but the final thing i just wanted to talk about we know there's jailbreak technology there's no we know we've got plenty of help across that club face but again the big deal for me is kind of uh, the feel in the club as well which is really really good and really really surprising i think one of the things i mentioned throughout this big birth of range that they've brought out is a massively helpful in terms of i think from the irons we looked at to the driver not tried the fairways but again it's this hybrid very very helpful do all the things that you want from a golf club looks wise this one i'd be very much on the fence with because of that offset but talking about feel and sound again fantastic very much like the driver got a great combination of both of those things i think it's mainly sound which resonates in feel to us but fantastic Hard to criticise in terms of performance. All I wanted to do was bring it from, obviously we spoke about it in the office in terms of kind of like what it possibly can do um, for your performance. Now it can help a lot of average golfers, but what it actually does when sat behind the ball, let's see if we can go for a full out, four out of four. That's probably the best one out of the lot. Let's get back in the office, I think. I'll finish off, we'll have a closer look at these numbers and we'll do a bit of an overall evaluation of this, uh, this hybrid. And then maybe that fellow will stop blowing leaves. Jesus, tonight. I think he's got a new toy. So as with all my content, what my main emphasis is not to prove a, a right or a wrong. It's not is offset right for you or right for me or right for anybody. The point is, is to raise questions and ask are we as average golfers dismissing things that might help us because ultimately that is what we want we want help and for me i would have dismissed this club because of my negativity towards visual offset it's that simple and in this case there's no doubt about it from a performance factor it performed extremely well how much offset played its part we will never know it, it was literally i test the club i played with it it was incredible in terms of its performance. I'll throw out the data for those people that like to see data. And what you'll see is it did what I'd expect a good four hybrid to do with that loft on it. The spin was good, the carry was good, the launch was good, the ball speeds were good. It ticked every box if I wanted a hybrid. But the point is this, it was not necessarily about the hybrid, it was all about offset. And like I said, that mentality about what it does and how it helps. You've seen those words from Tom Wishing, and I think that you know, the idea is that the major benefit of offset is for that anti-slice shot. And I think if you're struggling with that, coupled with the fact that offset and the kind of way this club head has been put together in terms of its mass, that CG back helping launch, then I think it's an incredibly good option. And I think it's a good option for most golfers off the tee because depending on how sort of fast you swing the club and whatever else but you'll get relative distance wise you're probably looking at only a sort of 10 percent drop off in terms of distance carried with your driver than you would with this four hybrid so for me it's a real interesting product and the offset element is something that in future what i've learned from this video is and i hope that this is what we can take from it is that I'll no longer dismiss a club when I look at it address, see the massive amounts of offset that game improvement type clubs can often have. And perhaps think I'm better than that. Because, you know, I'm certainly not. And in this case, it certainly proved to me that offset is potentially a major, major positive, a major benefit for most average golfers. When you think that most average golfers will hit a fade, that's the predominant swing type the delivery of the club head and that idea that this offset can help us in such a way to perhaps eliminate that and that key word again from Tom Wisham was the idea to hit straighter shots surely that's the ultimate goal so no magic ones ever but offset is no longer a, a swear word in terms of me when I look at a golf club it's made me think slightly differently right that's me done all I'm going to ask is this one last thing 
lots of things happening on the channel right now and I'll keep you updated as I've already said in recent weeks. I never sort of ask for subscribers or hit the like button and all that. I'll give a, 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 a shout out at the very end of a, a video. But can I ask you to do this? In recent weeks, I've been made aware of a number of subscribers have told me that they've been unsubscribed from the channel and also have been told that the notifications bell has been moved to, moved to off. Now, I don't know whether sometimes this happened, I remember 18 months or so ago, two years ago on YouTube, where there was some updates in their actual, uh, the app itself, and these kind of things happened. So I just ask you to check. Uh, I am really aware of people that I know very well who I've spoken to and I've seen it, uh, where, whereby, like I said, they've been unsubscribed to the channel. So I'd ask you that I'm not getting notifications. So two things, check if you think you should be subscribed, just check that you are. And secondly, that notifications bell, just check if you've got it switched on or not, and if it's or if it's still on and should be on. Uh, and that's what I will ask you to do for now. Yeah, I'm done. I, I like I said, I'll keep you very much updated. There is so much going on at the minute. I am uh, literally, um, yeah, chasing my tail a bit, but I'm doing my best to try and up the ante in terms of the uh, the videos that I'm get coming out to you. And um, yeah, I'm done. See you soon.